everyone. Happy Monday. Good to be back. Uh, and it's good to have Kian back. We have, um, I've missed you. You've been on uh, a pretty neat trip. Tell me a bit about that. Where were you? Yeah, thanks for asking. Uh, the last three weeks, I was not in the camp. I was missing mm -hmm. the camp. I was not in California. I was in Europe for the first time. Just graduated college at UCLA. Um, so this was my graduation trip. Uh, I went to four different cities, uh, you know, Edinburgh in Scotland, uh, Berlin, Athens, and Madrid. It was a lot of fun. I did not forget about bees when I was there, <laughs> okay. about all the pollinators. Very important, not only in California, all across the world. Um, so I was, uh, I didn't go to London, but I was like searching up, because it's interesting, uh, when you're in different countries, you search up news about bees or news about anything, it specializes it for that country. And I came across this uh, article that was produced by uh, University, Queen Mary University in London. It's interesting. Um, basically, they're doing a study to determine, it's kind of high level study to determine how sentient bees are, how intelligent they are. Um, and basically, they found that bees, um, they actually exhibit a good amount of variance in terms of their personality. So within a colony, within even a caste, there might be a genius bee that's doing something much more efficiently than the other bees. Or there might be a curious bee that explores more than others. Um, so it's interesting, it's kind of more similar to humans, right? You can see that. And also uh, this article explored consciousness and feelings and how uh, they set up some interesting uh, experiments to see that perhaps bees have feelings. Um, so this, this is interesting to me and we'll make sure to put this link of this article in the chat. So not in the chat, but in the description. So you guys can check it out. Uh, that was just one thing I saw. I also saw some top bar hives um, in in Scotland. So that was pretty cool. Awesome. Yeah. Well, I'm so glad you came back. It's great to have co-pilot at the camp once again. We have uh, we've got a lot of fun things coming up. We've got um, uh, advanced anatomy and physiology with Dr. Alina Nino on August the 13th. If you're a journey level candidate, we recommend that you do join us on August the 13th from nine until noon over Zoom, and you can register for it on our website. Tri-County Home Show in Roseville, if you're in NorCal, we'd love to see you. Come on out. We've got some of our local club members from uh, Saba as well as El Dorado uh, uh, beekeepers are coming out to help us as well. It's a great opportunity to meet other beekeepers as well as master gardeners, August 19, 20, and 21. And if you volunteer, free parking and a VIP pass, you get to bring two people, uh, free admission plus free parking. So check it out. Uh, September 10, mark your calendars because if you're a member of the California Master Beekeeper Program, Dr. Alina Nino will be offering a free pest and disease ID over Zoom from nine until noon, Saturday, September 10th. Uh, we will be putting the link in this week's buzz so you can register for that and um it's hot out there so uh make sure you've got some fresh water for your bees and one last thing the web store if you're into camp shirts or hats check out the web store link it will also be in this week's buzz and it's the last week to order anything so Hope everybody's well. Hope your bees are staying cool. Get that water on them. And, uh, well, we'll see you next week. How's that? Be, Be well, well, everyone. everyone. Take care. Bye-bye.